how's it going people well I'm doing fine I'm furloughed from work about three months in and enjoying this property behind my property you might not see him but out back there I've got a, an alpaca I'm kind of keeping a little bit of an eye on him but he always goes back to my yard when he's done but I just turned him loose on all that poison oak behind me and he's loving it anyway back to chapter two the same comparison of the same event we find in Jeremiah. After denouncing their long dispersion for their sins, God says, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. And from the lands whither I have driven them. And I will bring them into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Isn't it awesome being the chosen ones? Because... When he's mad, he notices you even more. I mean, us, us heathen infidels, you know, uh, can't expect much more from us. In Isaiah, a land shadowing, shadowing with wings at the last days is by the most high addressed and called to aid this restoration of that people of God. But first, Loki, you gotta make a cameo. Yes, he's feeling the call of the wild in the woods behind my property. He's probably the alpha predator right now. All right. Go, ye swift messengers, to a nation scattered and peeled, to a people terrible from the beginning hitherto, a nation meted out and trodden down, whose land the rivers have spoiled. In that day shall the present be brought unto the Lord of hosts of a people scattered and peeled, and from a people terrible from the beginning hitherto, My God, they are repeating it. I thought I'd lost my place or something. All right. A nation, nation meted out and trodden underfoot, whose land the rivers have spoiled, to the place of the Lord of hosts, the Mount Zion, People here described to be brought by that land addressed as a present to the Lord to Mount Zion or to Palestine uh, are evidently the descendants of Abraham and an event of the last days a further explanation of this chapter is to be given in the last chapter of this work. The same thing is noted in Isaiah. The Jewish church is called upon. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. The Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy risings. Thy rising. So you're talking about solar worship there, but nah, couldn't be. 
Who are these that fly as clouds and as doves to their windows? Surely the isles shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them, unto the name of the Lord thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. But you didn't know that. Here are ships conveying the Hebrews to Palestine. Hmm. As clouds and as doves to their windows. <sighs> and they shall bring of their brethren for an offering unto the Lord. Out of all nations, upon horses, and in chariots, and in litters, and upon mules, and upon swift beasts, to my holy mountain Jerusalem, saith the Lord, as the children of Israel bling, bring, bring their bling, uh, an offering in a clean vessel unto the house of the Lord in uh, Zephaniah connected with the battle of the great day and the millennium we read from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia my supplements or worshippers shall bring my offering even the daughter of my dispersed as a passage should be rendered so if you read the right version it'll tell us what he wants us to get from that passage In Isaiah, we find the sin of the dispersion and the gathering again at the millennium of the ancient tribes of the Lord in relation to their gathering after their banishment and their works are measured into their bosom. It follows Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it, so will I do for my servants' sake, that uh, my servants' sakes, that I may not destroy them all. I just love him too much. Good thing for them. Uh. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob, and out of Judah an inheritor uh, of my mountains, and mine elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. How long after, wait, here, after the long rejected state of Jacob and Judah, a blessed remnant at last shall be recovered. A seed from Jacob, the ten tribes, and from Judah, the Jews an inheritor of Canaan shall come 
and dwell in that land. This has never yet been fulfilled, but it will be accomplished uh, when God will, as in the following verses, create new heavens and new earths in the millennial glory of the church. In Amos, it is a prediction of this event. And I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel. And they shall build waste, waste cities. And inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. And I will plant them upon their land. And they shall no more be pulled up out of their land <laughs> which I have given them saith the Lord God this restoration is surely future for after the restoration from the Babylonian captivity they were again expelled from their land now for many centuries but after the restoration here promised God says they shall no more be pulled up out of their land this shows that the restoration here promised is both future and literal In Jeremiah for lo the last days come saith the Lord that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah saith the Lord and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave their fathers and they shall possess it In the restoration from Babylon, Israel was not returned, and the Jews possessed their land but a short time. Hence, this prophecy remains to be fulfilled. Read the whole 31st chapter of Jeremiah. Okay. And you will find the restoration of the Jews and the ten tribes to the land of their fathers in the last days and their continuance and it is so long as the sun moon and stars endure if those ordinances depart from before me saith the Lord i.e. the sun moon and stars then the seed of Israel shall cease from being a nation before me forever. God here promises the city, Jerusalem, shall be built to the Lord. It shall not be plucked up nor thrown down anymore forever. Here God engages that Ephraim is God's firstborn, so he will earnestly remember him still, and surely have mercy upon him, for his bowels are pained with his long outcast state. <sighs> I'll drink to that. That he will sow the house of Israel and the house of Ju Judah 
with the seed of men and that like as he had watched over them to pluck up and break down to throw down and to destroy and afflict so he will watch over them to build and plant isn't that nice fine that all this shall be when the new covenant is made with the house of Israel and the house of Judah not according to the covenant that he made with their fathers what other covenant they might be talking about thus it is an event to take place under the last the gospel dispensation and hence it must now it must be now future hmm. well that's pretty fucking profound ah. the prophet Joel when foretelling the last days and the millennium notes this event okay for behold in those days and at that time I will bring again the captivity of, of Judah and Jerusalem yeah I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat I hope that's a really big valley the battle of the great day of God follows verses 9 through 17 oh thank you mm. Ooh, tastes like tacos loving it upon which follows the millennium in this series of events God brings again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem yeah often repeated isn't it <laughs> of course I repeat myself in uh, Zeph is the same a new preparatory scene of judgment is predicted verses 6 7 the battle of the great day follows verse 8 wow sequential and everything then the millennium verse 9 hmm. I will read that To prepare the way for this, the noted restoration is promised. Verse 10 through 18. Wow, it's an unbroken streak there. And the scene closes thus, verse 1920. Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee and I will save her that halteth and gather her that was driven out and I will get me praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame wow At that time, I will bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith the Lord. 
prophet Hosea most decisively predicts this event. Here, first son must be called Jezreel, for God would soon avenge the blood of Jezreel. And I will cause to cease the house of Israel. This house did cease, as had been banished and lost to this day. The name of her daughter, Lo Rahma, is explained. Ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. Here, is their long excommunication, but he immediately proceeds to predict their restoration. <laughs> okay, up oh, there's my buddy. Hang on a second. I got you, Sam. Otis, can you tar can I knock down my tripod for me? Huh? Uh-oh, it's getting close to his tail. Ah, you've got some... Oh. Ah, yes. I'll tell you what, I'm going to throw one of these for you to go find. Okay. Sit. 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 Oh, you're so good. You're so good. Oh, you want a treat for that? Oh, you're going to even lay down and chill? You stay for a while, I'll give you a treat. <sighs> totally lost my place. Thanks, Otis. <laughs> You're so good. Yet, the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, they shall, there shall it be said to them, Ye are the sons of the living God. Then shall the children of Israel and the children of Judah be gathered together appoint themselves one head and they shall come up out of the land earth for great shall be the day of Jezreel mm. here the ten tribes were to be dispersed and again restored together with the Jews and their numbers and prosperity shall be immense. St. Paul quotes this passage in Romans merely by way of accommodation oh. to note that the Gentiles were called into the church a thing noted by expositors as very common in the sacred writings. Yet, by no means with a view to hint that this text is not to receive a more liberal accomplishment in a future restoration of the Ten Tribes scriptures the sentiment is confirmed that there shall be a literal restoration in bringing in of the Gentile church is a prelude of this hmm. Israel were, were excommunicated that the Gentiles might take their place so they're chosen now, huh? Look out. <laughs> but 
it was to be thus only till the fullness of the Gentiles become in and then Israel shall be grafted in again and their promised restoration be accomplished well, that's a pretty tall order I'm going to resume at the top of page 39 and give this good dog a treat first you're such a good boy better have another treat or I'm in trouble Good boy. Stay tuned. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having.